Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I'm here working on an RV air conditioner with Ruben. And uh, we're going to put a line tap on here, and I'm going to show you the process for how to do that. A line tap is just a little device that allows you to access uh, the system. But because for some reason the manufacturers don't put ports on these things, I think it's just another point of failure and also keeps uh, the general populace from attempting to monkey with it, which is probably a good thing. Uh, that's the other thing I should mention is you should not be doing this if you're not certified to do so but I'll link in the description to these taps if you're looking for them. <laughs> so here is what come in these kits. There's a couple different sizes that I have here. We've got uh, this one that is for up to 3 8 quarter to 3 8 and uh, this one is from half to 5 8 So we're going to uh, be using the smaller one. Open it up here and show you what it comes with. So here's the tap itself. You take out these screws to get that apart. And then you have two redu size reducers to reach that quarter and five sixteenths sizes that it is compatible with. But today we're, we're using it on three eighths, so we won't have to change the size. So we'll just pull out these screws here. So I got this off of here. Now when we put this thing on here, you want to make sure that the copper is nice and clean, which this one actually is already nice and clean. So we don't need to do anything to that. But I always put this on here when the pipe is curving away from the side with the seal. Because if you put it this way, it's going to be more likely to have a concave you know, shape here where that piece of rubber is not going to seal correctly. So if you put it on this side, you have a much better chance of it sealing well. The other thing you should pay attention to is making sure that it's going to still fit in your enclosure. In which case, uh, I might have to move this a little bit different. On the side like this is probably okay too. We'll go close enough where it's uh, not going to uh, be affected by this bent part of the tube. Alright, so we'll use this handy dandy wrench here. Now I did end up facing this out, uh, but I was able to just gently bend this tubing over just a little bit. There's a little bit of give in it, so you're okay with that. Uh, just to make enough room for this port to go on here. And we'll painstakingly tighten these up until that is totally closed across there. There's there's no gap at all. And right here on the bottom, there's one more Allen screw spot. And right there, we just gotta thread this all the way in until it fully seats and stops. Let's do it this way. And that's going to make a little pinhole in the copper tubing so that we can access it. So we'll crank it all the way down. Alright, so we fully seated that, and now when we loosen this, it should, yep, it opens that valve. So now we're ready to put our gauges onto this unit. And then when you're done using this line tap, you just simply close it like we closed it just now, and then put your cap on here to make sure that you don't have any uh, leakage ongoing. And that's pretty much it. It's how you use one of these little line tap things. Again, link in the description if you're looking for them. I'll link a couple different sizes. You just have to know which size uh, pipe you're working with and they work pretty good. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified. Unlike Ruben, he's not even subscribed to me. But Wait, I did you? I am. Wait. But I just need that button. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We'll talk to you in the next video. You should check out Ruben's channel down below too. I'll put a link to it if you're interested in learning about uh, burning couches and... No, 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 not burning couches. Burning magnesium and uh, making knives and stuff. What else? <laughs> Choke berries? Choke berries. It's, it's much more entertaining than my channel. My channel is very boring and informative about things that most people don't care about, but some people do. So thanks for hanging out. We'll talk to you later.